Now what we're going to do is we are going to test a custom query method as well as finishing up the rest of our Pokemon test. If you don't know what a custom query method is, basically it is a method that you can put inside of JPA repository and not actually code anything. And by just adding this method into JPA repository, you can have an actual method that will pull stuff in the database. If you don't know what a custom query method is, it's okay. I have a video on it if you want to look at it, but you can feel free to follow along. It's not complicated at all, but this is the custom query method that we are going to create. We are going to test it and we are going to go ahead and we are going to finish up the rest of the Pokemon repository method test. So now we're inside IntelliJ. Let's go ahead. Let's go inside of our Pokemon repository under the repository and let's add our custom query method. So all I'm going to do super easy is just go in here, add an optional. You need to put the L right here and go over here and go to find by type. And if you don't know what this is, if you go inside of the actual model, you will see that there is a type inside of our model. So if you're not familiar with this project, if you go inside of here, we have this type thing. And when we add this find by type method to our JPA repository or our po Pokemon repository, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to generate code that we'll find by type just by us creating this method inside of here. And I'm gonna go ahead in here and port my class. And what I'm going to do is go down into my Pokemon repository test and go ahead and create a, another test for this. So I'm just gonna go over here go down and all that I'm going to do is replace this. So we're gonna say fine by type and we are going to return a Pokemon that searches by the actual type. So I'm going to say um, re return Pokemon not null. So we're expecting this test to return not null. We already have our, uh, we already have our range. So we already have our object. Now what we need to do, we need to um, we already have our save right here. So what we need to do now is we just need to go find by type, just like this. And when we do that, we also need to change this to get type, just like this. And that should be it, pretty simple. A lot of this is easier once you have most of these tests built out because you can copy and paste them. So we'll just run through and also do the update and delete after this. So. What I'm gonna do, we still have to do the update and the delete. These ones will be a little bit different. So I'm just gonna go up here. So go down here. And instead of the find by type, what it's going to be is it's going to be update Pokemon. We already have our Pokemon object we've already created. Uh, we, ha we already have our save, that's good to go. Now what we need to do is we need to actually find a Pokemon by, the, by an ID. So we need to find the actual Pokemon, so we'll say Fine by ID, and we'll pass in our Pokemon objects. So we'll say Pokemon.get ID. It's an optional, so make sure to have your get right here. That looks good. Now what we need to do, we can't stop there. We need to go down here and we need to actually set our Pokemon. So we go Pokemon, let's see what our actual, we'll say this is Pokemon save. We'll call this Pokemon save instead. So just so that it's not, it's a little bit uh, more explicit, then we'll go down here, we'll say set type, and we'll set the type to electric. Then we'll change another one just for good measure, just to make sure that we're actually uh, updating. So we'll say set name. Then we will set this to, I don't know, set it to Raichu. Raichu is a pretty cool Pokemon. Then we'll go up here, and this is where we're going to actually do our um, act. So this is where we're going to actually act on what we have uh, set up. So we'll go here, we'll say updated Pokemon. And we need to actually go into the uh, Pokemon repository and save in uh, Java, save and update are pretty much the same thing. It will automatically handle it for you based on if the object is actually in there. So we'll say save, go ahead, pass in our updated Pokemon. So we'll say updated Pokemon. And we will also make sure that the um, updated Pokemon dot get type or get name is not to null. 
because this is an update and then we'll do the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna go down and we'll also check to make sure that the type is not null. Let's go ahead, test it, make sure that this thing is going. So let's go here, go ahead and run it. Hopefully it works. And we've got the green light. So all we have to do now is we're gonna do the same exact thing, but we're going to do it with a delete. And the delete is very uh, similar to finding. It's not as complicated as the update. So we're just gonna go down here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this out. And then we are going to go into our Pokemon repository. So we'll go Pokemon repository. We will go delete by ID and go ahead and delete our Pokemon that we saved. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create an optional and we'll go Pokemon. Then we will have our Pokemon return. So we'll say Pokemon return. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Then after that, we're going to go back into the Pokemon repository. We're going to find by ID. Go ahead and bring in our Pokemon get ID from our model. Then what we're going to do is assert that the Pokemon return is not empty. So let's go here. And we'll say is, is empty, not is not empty. I'm sorry. Okay, so also we need to change up this. So we're gonna say Pokemon, um, so Pokemon delete, delete and re return Pokemon is empty because that is what we expect to happen. So we're going to go, go ahead, change that. Okay, so looking good, let's go ahead, run it, see what happens. Hopefully you get the green arrow or green check mark. And we've got our green check mark. We are ready to go. Anyways, that's going to be the video. Next, we're going to be moving on to testing the review repository. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.